Hi there, I'm Robert Dudzik and today I want to show you how i fixing my audio. A lot of times I'm facing a situation when I'm going recording and all I have in my car is just like a regular stereo recorder when I get just two microphones. And it's a good thing I have it, you know, because I'm able to capture the sound, but it's not my typical rig what I'm using when you see me online, my videos when I'm using usually three microphones position and I record but I try to do my best. So a lot of times you take this recorder or whatever it is, you try to place close to the source and record the sound. And when you hear the sound after, you actually hear this thing, like the sound's going a little bit more to the left, to the right. And if you want to use your sound's feature in the post-production, you prefer probably have the main source of the sound when you record like straight in the center, instead moving to the right or moving to the left and doing so many crazy things because let's be honest you know not always i use my headphones when i just grab my recorder so i don't hear exactly what's going on i just place my mic close close as i can and i hope for the best but you know things happen happen to me happen to you and happen to many others but there's quick solution for this thing and i just learned this and i discovered by buying simple plugin from Boom library and it's called Recenter. And right up front, want to address this thing. I have no any obligations to Boom library to doing this video, to showing these plugins because I purchased this and my own money. And I really believe it's a great tool. What's going to save you a lot of time. I know it saved me so much time. And because of that, I'm able to actually back to my card of recording and fix a lot of my recordings, what I actually doing right now. So let's go to the recenter and let me show you basically what this thing do and how I use it. And I think you're going to like it. So now when you see my fire is not perfect, you know, you see like one of the channel, it's louder, one is more quieter, especially like right here. And there are files a little bit quiet too. So first thing what I will be doing basically, just go and try cut this a little bit. And I love to pretty much like normalize my sounds and have them around minus 6 dB. Then it's give me so much room if I want to add any process to this in post production. And I know the signal is not going to be cloud. So basically I did this thing, highlight, and I already program. So you see automatically it's set to minus 6 dB. So everything is automatically normalized. So I can turn off this right now. I don't need this thing. And now when I play this, everything have like decent levels. And as you see in my meters, how they're going off, they're not like right in the center, especially like if you go like right here, see one channel is way stronger than the other. And I don't want this. I want to be so precision in the center. So I'm going to use the recenter. But before I'm going to show you this thing, I want you to know what I'm using on my chain. On my chain, I'm going to use so 2 from Oak Sound. I think it's phenomenal. It's basically, it's helped me eliminate a lot of the unwanted, unpleasant frequencies. So let's activate this thing. And you see, I'm just going straight under the fold because the, it's nothing specific what I want to do. Let's just search and do this thing. And you see right away, it's curving the non-pleasant frequencies right here. So it works. The next thing, I'm going to activate my recenter. And just, you know, to having like a bigger sound, I'm going to use my Uber Load or Uber Loud. <laughs> It's a game from Boom, but I purchased this thing last year when they had Black Friday sale, and it's phenomenal plugging. And that's my only one purchase what I did this year on Black Friday. That was the recenter from Boom. It's phenomenal. I love this thing. So let me show you how this thing works. So now when we have this thing done, look when I play this thing, everything, the sounds, they're going very close straight to the center because it's right here. But you see this little cursor going, right? And basically, the recenter trying 
bring everything nice together to the center so you're gonna have nice sound so you hear this thing it's going so especially here it's pretty good so now let's add a little more power you know what I mean to the sound so basically I can activate and starting using the uber loud and by the way this is the latest version what the guys did right now you can lock this thing together and by moving one wheel you're moving all these frequencies together so it's really cool thing so the high I usually leave for the end because there will be too much high and I'm not big fan most of the times instead of adding EQ on the high I usually just take it down so let's just add a little more and you hear the sound starting getting already louder for me and having nicer color more punch more body and if there's any noise you can denoise a little clipper so so i have this right now in my master bus in the end because i just want to hear nice rich sound so now look at this it's in the center and it sounds almost mono but look at this you can move this a little bit wider and now it's working in the center but the sounds getting stuck nicer and wider with focus C focus to be more in the center and you can go extreme if you want it and it's starting to get sounds huge but I like to using the sounds how I'm doing and do my sounds the way how I usually record with my free microphones position so to do this thing of course I have only two microphones so how I can do this you know so it's very easy so basically look at this I'm doing this and I will be duplicate this track so right now I have identical settings on this track and then let's wait now show me the second recenter so we have one on top and that's the one in the bottom and of course suit is in both of them so now the top one it's going just straight in mono and I want to keep this way but the bottom one I will be open and make more wider so when you mix this stuff is sound starting getting to be more thicker and wider but the reason why I do this thing because I, I don't want to make it too much white so basically this one I'll be just bring a little bit down because this is just my stereo image and this I can go nuts completely white straight because I'm focused on the center of the sound so this is on the center but this one just give me the white image stereo so listen to this so the sound is starting getting full and rich and now because this setup I'm able by controlling level of this thing control if I want the sound be farther you know or I want the sound be more close and my face basically by bringing this fader up making louder or so it's it's very pretty cool very useful thing and right now if I want to control if I wanted the sound to go more to the left and the one and the cross production you just move and now I know I'm doing extreme right now but just to show you how much power you can have when it's come to the sound so this is very very useful tool and if you have plenty of recordings when you record just a new stereo recorder and you want to fix them and make them then you say the recenter will be the tool what just gonna do job for you just open your entire file doesn't matter how long it's gonna be hour two hours long just apply this thing on top and I have uber loud you can apply the uber loud on top and just 
set this tiny process and just run this file to this thing and you have beautiful sounds out there ready to play with. So that's it. Hope you like this video. Enjoy it. Give it a try because I really highly recommend you this. I know you can do this by controlling pen and moving things, but you know what? If you have a time and you want to spend time programming the animation, moving left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, it's good for you. I'm not in the position when I just have too much time. I have family, kids, I want to work effective and smart. So I think so this is very smart tool, very great and very helpful, very useful and very effective. So link is in the bio, check them out. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.